All right, guys, here we go. Uh, let me see if I can get this camera to where you can. Uh, lighting is terrible. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, anyway, if you get it the right angle, you can see I wet sanded this, but I'm not done yet. There's still, still a little bit of orange peel here that I need to, uh, that I need to work out. Okay. Uh, Darren and uh, WTBM123 recommended that I watch a video that Milo put out there on paint viscosity. I watched that. Uh, awesome. That's awesome. See, that kind of stuff is what, what I need to know. Guys, my brain doesn't work like other people's brains. I have to, uh, for some reason, I have to know the details, the ins, the outs, the whys. Uh, to me, it's easier if I know what makes exhibit A become the way that it needs to be. If I know what makes that happen and why it happens, I can diagnose uh, the problems that I'm having better. I just maybe I overthink things I don't know, but um, it just helps me along, you know. I've uh, I don't know, and that that video helped me a lot, you know, to. Uh, uh, it's just the way my brain works. Maybe I'm challenged. Maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. At any rate, uh, that helped a lot. The video helped a lot. And, uh, yeah. Some guys are good with just saying, well, tell me what to put together. I'll put it together and I'll spray it. But to me, see, if you know how, what makes something happen the way it happens, and then you run into a problem, you'll know where to go back to to fix it. Uh, that's one reason this whole paint thing has me so aggravated. Uh, it's because I don't understand those things yet. Uh, and when it comes time to work on the beetle, yeah, I haven't got the swing put up yet, guys. I've been obsessed with this painting thing. When it comes time to paint that guy, I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to. I'll be able to do that if I understand all these things. I've got so much work to do to that car, guys. It's unbelievable. Uh, I haven't driven it. In, well, I, I've drove it up the road, you know, just test driving it here, there. But I mean, a uh, daily driver. I've driven it so long. It's I need to I need to get all the loose ends wrapped up on that car. Uh, but right now, right now, once I get this hood painted, I think I'll be happy, and then I'll start doing all that work on that car see let me tell you let me no let me back up I want to tell you about this car I want to tell you about this car okay let's look at it this car is a pretty solid car it's really I mean I know that it's got these uh, rust issues here with with this okay all right and that's because you know uh, Darren did a video and explained how these these vents leak and there's foam in here and it holds that water and it rusts these cars out and uh, I appreciated that video by the way I didn't know that I phoned these Volkswagens all these years and didn't know that that leaky leaky situation there that vent caused that it's good information but um, it does have a few problems on the other side the uh, the running board fell off of it here and I've got a set ordered in there for it but this car was setting I, I had um, I had a uh, the bottom end got weak on the engine that was in it when I bought it and so I, I took the engine apart and I haven't sent the block off to get it done yet but but when my dad uh, we had to quit on his project for his van and uh, remember I'd put together a 1915 for that and it was sitting there. I was afraid it was just going to sit and go to waste. So I took that engine, since it wasn't being used and was not going to be used, and I put it in here. I put it in here. Okay. Now, see, this isn't done yet. Darren just did a video, and I'm going to touch on that. He made a really, really good video. Um, engine seals. See, I haven't done this either. I've got holes. These are for your... your um, they are coming out of the fan shroud to go to your heat exchangers to blow the hot air. That's not sealed. And these tins, these tins, uh, 
are the wrong tins. I'm gonna have to make some metal come over here and seal this. But the reason that this was on here, see, in my van, in, in the van that it was in, I had cut custom sheet metal that, that, that was, it, was, it was like a Z, it came this way down and then over and it was all trimmed in around here, sealing that off. It wasn't an issue on the van because of the kit. And I just used this old, which is really dirty now, uh, but I used this old apron because of that. It's really funky and nasty in there. I need to clean that up. But at any rate, that, that's, what, that's where this is at. I've got that to do uh, to get all these seals in here. Um, I've got the wheel cylinders to do. Um, I've got the running boards to put on it. I've got the rust to fix. But the only thing keeping me from driving it really is getting all the engine compartment sealed up and getting my wheel cylinders on it but as it, it, somebody did work on this thing at one point I'll show you some body work let me show you man I'm really running a rabbit here this wasn't the video I intended to make at all um, somebody did some body work see right here and it's coming out it's coming out can you see that they put a patch panel in there and it's coming out yep but the the running boards are in here. I got some stainless running boards. Figured those might last a while, better than the uh, better than the others. But anyway, um, that is that needs to be done. I need to drive that car. Cars that sit around, it's not it's not good for them. I drive my van all the time. Love my little van, but I kind of miss my Beetle, you know. Anyway. This hood needs to be wet sanded. I thought I was done, and when it dried, I can see the. It feels pretty smooth to feel it, but it's not. I want to. I want to get that down to get every bit of that orange peel out of there, and we're going to mix the paint one to one to one. I'm going to bring a test panel in, and we are going to. Uh, we are going to uh, try it at one to one to one on the test panel, and we'll see how this does. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. But it'll happen eventually. Okay. I'm going to take a little piece of advice here. The hood. The hood is a challenge. Okay. It sure is to me anyway. I went in and touched all the spots there. Here's the challenge with it, man. Not only have I got the challenge of learning to mix my paint, primer, mm, set my gun up and all this stuff. I've got, you know, to paint around this. You know, it's not like I can just take a big long sweep all the way down through here, okay? Because I'm afraid of getting runs, so on and so forth. Uh, Jeff Chance said, I'd recommend you get some sheet metal in practice. I think that's good advice. I am going to do that. That's what this is. I laid it out here and uh, scrubbed it down. Had some old leaves and stuff on it. This is just a just a panel. I'm going to prime the whole thing. Practice. I'm going to practice on that. All right, guys. We're going to do the 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 Milo drip test. Because that looked like a, a really, you know, uh, a really good deal. Took, uh, took a lot of the mystery out of it for me. So, I'm just mixing this 50-50 to start with and see if it's, if it, you know, what, what, uh, what it does. And this is just the primer, so you know when when I get to the paint, I'll I'll deal with that. But it seemed to, yeah, it's a dirty stick. But I've I've got the strainer, so I'm gonna I wanna strain it. So I'll mix this up and see. You know, it's uh, Darren said in his video put up a video today trying to help me out a little bit with this and he said buddy you learned something 
Well, I go along with that, man. That, uh, I don't know. Is that what? Let's see. Maybe a little more. Um, I go along with that, man. There's, uh, you know, every day you learn something is, um, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's all about, it's all about learning. A little bit more. Um, that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway. I think when you stop learning, man, when you stop learning, you've had it. You might as well just hang it up. Because you're not going anywhere if you're not learning. I don't know. I'm going to try that. Okay, guys. Here's our old piece of tin. Man, I'll tell you what. That primer laid out really good. Really good. I'm not worried. This is some old oxidation and stuff on there, guys. I'm not even worried about that. What I'm worried about is these flat portions of the panel where it was just, you know, there's no oxidation on this section right here. I'm wanting, I'm working on these trying to get it all right. I'm going to go ahead and wet sand this and try it with, uh, try it with a little, mix up a little white and, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, let's see here. I want to mix some paint now. I'm going to do the same, the same thing with the test. I'm going to do paint stick. Okay. Let me mix this up real quick. I didn't bring anything to open this can with. Let me go get a. Oh, let me go get a screwdriver. Okay. Four to one to one. Right there. We're going to try four to one to one this time. Last time, I did just four to one. Four parts of paint, one part hardener. Now, I'm going to try it with one part reducer in the mix. Okay, fellas, this thing's about cured out. Um, and I, you know, you just really can't tell much about this panel here because because it is the galvanized you know it's just I most of you guys as country boys or whatever would understand what I'm talking about with this galvanized it's just not a smooth surface and it really didn't make for a a good test panel for me to try this on still got a little orange peel I did talk to Darren today and uh, he gave me some more pointers he asked me about my pressure and stuff and even though I increased the uh, the reducer he said uh, probably better try a little bit you know a little more reducer in it and uh, increase the pressure a little bit and increase the fan a little bit the spray pattern on my gun I told him where I was spraying that and he said better bump that up a little bit and this is my my small test panel and it's you know the orange peel is better than what it was on the on the on the on the tractor uh, it, it's better than it, than it was, but I've still got a little bit. I want it. I want it to lay down smooth. That's why. That's what I'm shooting for. So, yeah, we got my garden work done. I'm gonna leave this alone. Time for me to go in. I've done enough today. Um. So yeah, we're getting there, guys.